Welcome to this segment. I thought we would have a segment on identifying fabrics and then the different ways in which we can colour fabrics and add some texture. And to help me with today's segment is Connie. Thank you for joining us, Hi, Connie. Sir. <laughs> now, sometimes I often find when I go to and buy fabrics or I get fabrics from friends, I'm not quite sure of the content, whether it's 100% cotton or whether it's a polyester. So what I thought we'd do is just maybe demonstrate a very easy technique of identifying where, what type of fabric you've got. And you can often do that by just burning your fabric and mm. seeing how it burns. Mm. Have you ever tried it, Connie? I have. A few times. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it does work well. Definitely. Right. Well, what I'm going to do, I've got some foil here, I've got some water just in case the flames take off. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is with my lighter, just light the fabric. And I know that this has got polyester, so you can see how it quickly melts mm. and burns away. Right. So that's indicating the, the polyester content. So I'll just quickly get rid of something there. Yes. <laughs> now, would you like wow. to try I'll yours go. and just see how it goes? Close. Close by, yeah. just in case. Oh, I've got Sam, our cameraman, all ready to fire for the fire brigade, just, just in, in case. case. Here we go. Yeah, so it's just yeah, curling it's just up and, and up. yep, okay. Oh yes, and melting. Yes. All right. Smell that too. Yes, the smell it gives off. So that's a good way. The smell, mm. the way it burns, and if it leaves any residual, what sort of residual it might that's leave right. behind, which is okay. not much, minimal. No. Now, if I can just have the lighter, yeah. and we'll look and see how this one burns. And this one I know is a con, so we'll just burn this. So we can see it's burning in a total different way, and it's also going to leave a residual behind. It's a lot yeah. slower too. It is, isn't it? Yes. yes. Now, if you'd like to light yeah, yours. So we can see that cotton burns completely differently. And if I was to put that out, I can see what's going to be left behind. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That'll just keep going. It will. Actually, pop that yes, in. do that. Light. That's a good idea. Right. Oh, but you, oh, look at that. Still going. There you go. All right. That's, that's a good yes. sample there. That's right. So we've identified our fabric. Mm. And then once we've identified that we can then choose what type of dye we might like to use. And especially a lot of the fibre reactive dyes yep. are very suited just for your natural fabrics like your cottons and your wools. That's right. That's yep. perfect. Now, looking at colours, it would be good to have a look at some colours because as you know, we do have our three main primary colours, which are, let's put them up on the board. One of them is our yellow. There we go. And also we have red and blue. Now these three colours are the bases of all the colours that we use. And it's by the different variation of these colours that we produce the next mm. lot of colours, which are yeah. called secondary colours. Yeah. So these are our three primaries. By adding these together, we can get a different type of blue. This was actually mm -hmm. that one, and orange, which is your red and yellow. And lastly, your blue and yellow, which gives you your green. Mm -hmm. And you'll find, often to go on to the next lot, I find I use a colour wheel. And I find I've got my three primaries, my yellow, my blue and my red. And I can see the different shades that are created as I move into each different area mm. of the colours. And also these warm and hot colours are mm. reds. And our red based colours are warm colours. And our blues are the cool colours. Mm. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So now that once we've chosen our colours and, what we're going to, and the dyes that we're going to work with, as we've, in, as we've um, identified our fabrics, then we can start working out maybe what type of textures we might like to add to the fabric. Mm, great. 